Hello everyone, this is Christopher Carrington from GMUstudent.com and today we are going to learn how to insert things using our insert common bar. So if we come into Dreamweaver and we create a new HTML, in designer view and split view you're going to see this insert common area. If you don't have it at common, just click common right here and you're going to see an assortment of different things that you can insert into your website. So the first thing that we are going to do is let's insert a hyperlink. So let's click hyperlink. And if you wanted the text to be, let's say, Yahoo, and then the link to be http colon backslash backslash www.yahoo.com, and click OK, then when that person clicked that Yahoo, they would be taken to Yahoo. That would be for an external link. If you wanted to do an internal link inside your website, you would click this. You would type in about us. And you would go to your browse folder, you would find your about page, you would click choose, and then you would click OK. And now they would be taken to your about us page. So let's highlight those and delete them. Now what we could do is an email link. In order to do an email link, you just click email link, and you would type in the text that you want to say, contact us. And then you can have your email right here, that's my email address, and click OK. And when that person clicks contact us, they would be taken to that, to that email address. Another thing that you can do is you can do a named anchor, I'll go over that in another tutorial. You can do horizontal rules also. So let's say if you did home, clicked enter, clicked horizontal rule, clicked enter, about, click enter, horizontal rule, enter, I don't know, um, contact, enter, horizontal rule, enter. So another thing you could do with these horizontal rules is, as you can see, if we go in the design view, they're quite large. So you can manipulate the size of those horizontal rules by clicking them, and now you get the horizontal rules properties panel. So let's change the width of those to 100 pixels, and click enter. And now let's change the alignment to left. And now you have a horizontal rule like this. So say you wanted all of them to be like that, just click that horizontal rule, hit Command or Control C, click the other horizontal rule, Command or Control V, click the other one, Command or Control V. And now you have horizontal rules that look a little more, I don't know, they just look better, I guess. So that's how you manipulate your horizontal rules. Let's highlight all this, Command or Control A, delete. Now you can insert tables. If you click table, you will come to the tables properties. I'll go over this in another tutorial, but let's just keep it at 1, 1, and 100, and click OK. And now you have a table that is 100% of your width of whatever your website is going to be. So if you click outside of the table, and, and then you won't have the properties panel of the table anymore, but if you click the table, you have the properties of the table, so you could change it to, let's change it to 400 instead of percent, let's change it to pixels. And now you have your table over here. You can change it to center a line. So that is how you insert in a couple steps to how you manipulate that table. And the last thing we're going to go over is the images. So let's click that table and delete it. So now let's go to our images. I have, you have, uh, if you click this little arrow right here, you have, uh, come on, click that little arrow. You have image, image placeholder, and a rollover image. For your image, basically, it would just input an image that is in your images folder down here. For image placeholder, if you click that, it will have width and height, and you could give it a name, so let's just call it um, default or something like that, and click OK. And then you could click and drag it to change the width and height. So this would basically be like if you knew that you had an image that was... 300 by 300 in the width and height properties panel. You see I'm changing it here. You could just put that in there so that you could do things around the image so that you might not have the image right now, but you can manipulate it. That's image placeholder. And with rollover image is basically you have one image that is when you open up the website, you see that one image. And then when you roll your mouse over that image, it changes. So it has a hover effect. You usually see things like this with like toolbars, if they'll have like a home icon and you hover over it and it might change colors. So you'd have two different images for it. And then you would have, when clicked, go to URL. And you would say, say if it was an image that said about us, and then it was like red, 
and then you had another image that was blue when they rolled over it, and then it, when you clicked it, it went to about.html. So that's how you do images and image rollovers. So this is a brief, um, this is a really brief synopsis of your insert common bar. Those are probably the ones that you are going to be using the most. So um, thank you for watching. This is Christopher Carrington from gmustudent.com, and I hope this tutorial was useful.